publisher's notice of the mystic will this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org the mystic will by charles godfrey leland publisher's notice this wonderful treatise was first published in england several years ago under the title of have you a strong will and has run through several editions there in its original form it was printed in quite large type double leaded and upon paper which bulked out the book to quite a thick volume some copies have been sold in america but the price which dealers were compelled to charge for it in its original shape prevented the wide circulation that it merited and which its author undoubtedly desired for it for it seems to have been a labor of love with him the interest of the race in his wonderful theories evidently being placed above financial returns by mr leland believing that the author's ideas and wishes would be well carried out by the publication of an american edition printed in the usual size type without the expedient of double letting unusually large type in order to make a large volume which allows of the book being sold at a price within the reach of all the publisher has issued this edition along the lines indicated the present edition is identical with the original english edition with the following exceptions one there has been omitted from this edition a long tiresome chapter contained in the original edition entitled on the power of the mind to master disordered feelings by sheer determination as set forth by immanuel kant in a letter to hoofland but which chapter had very little to say about the power of the mind but very much indeed about hygiene dietetics sleep care of oneself in old age hypochondria work exercise eating and drinking illness etc etc from the point of view of the aged german metaphysician which while interesting enough in itself and to some people was manifestly out of place in a book treating upon the development of mental faculties by the will etc we think that mr leland's admirers will find no fault with this omission number two the word suggestion has been substituted for the word hypnotism in several places in the original text where the former word was manifestly proper according to the present views of psychologists which views were not so clearly defined when the book was written number three the chapter headings of the original book have been shortened and simplified in accordance with the american form four the title the mystic will has been substituted in place of that used in the original edition which was have you a strong will this change was made for the reason that the original title did not give one the correct idea of the nature of the book but rather conveyed the idea of an inquiry regarding the iron will etc which the author evidently did not intend the use of the will as taught in the book by mr leland is not along the lines of the iron will but is rather in the nature of the employment of a mystic mysterious and almost weird power of the human will and the title of the present edition is thought to more correctly represent the nature of the book and the author's own idea than the inquiry embodied in the title of the original edition number five several unimportant footnotes references to other books etc have been omitted after careful consideration those who would wish to read the book in its original english edition will be able to procure it from the english publisher mr philip welby six henrietta street covent garden london w c england to the few readers of this book who are not familiar with the author mr charles g leland it may be said that this gifted man was an american by birth but who lived in europe for many years before his death he died march twentieth nineteen o three at florence italy at the ripe age of seventy-nine years active until the last and leaving unpublished manuscripts some not completed he lived up to his ideas and profited by them his writings are spread over a period of nearly or fully fifty years and his range of subjects was remarkable in its variety style and treatment among his best-known works were practical education flaxius the brightman ballads which introduced his well-known character hans brightman gypsy sorcery and fortune-telling wood carving leather work metal work drawing and designing 
the minor arts twelve manuals in artwork the album of repousse work industrial art and education hints on self-education and many other works along the lines of manual training etc and the development of the constructive faculties Kulsop the master and other algonquin poems and legends the alternate sex and many other works some of which are now out of print but a number of which may be purchased from or through any bookseller there has been recently published a biographical work embodying his memoirs written and edited by his beloved niece mrs pennell to which volume all admirers of this wonderful man are referred every subject touched upon by mr leland was brightly illuminated by the power of his marvellous mind he seemed to be able to go right to the heart of the subject seizing upon its essential truth and at the same time grasping all of its details his mind was so full of general information that it fairly oozed out from him in all his writings the reader will notice this phenomena in the present book in which the author has evidently had to fight his own mind in order to prevent it from intruding all sorts of valuable and varied general information in among the particular subjects upon which he is treating while not a professional psychologist mr leland has given utterance to some of the most valuable and practical psychological truths of the last fifty years his contributions to this branch of human thought is sure to be recognized and appreciated in the near future it is hoped that this little book will carry some of his valuable precepts and ideas to many who have never had the advantage and pleasure of his acquaintance up to this time it is believed by the publisher that this popular edition of mr leland's valuable work upon the use of the will issued at a nominal price will carry the author's teachings to the homes of many of those whom lincoln called the plain people of this american land who need it so much but who would not have been able to have purchased it in its original shape this work has been well known in england but here in america the birthplace of the author it has been comparatively unheard of it is to be hoped that this edition will remedy this grievous fault april eleventh nineteen o seven the publisher end of publisher's note